In this video, you'll see how to access MindTap within your Blackboard course. To begin, log into Blackboard and select your course. Once you are within your Blackboard course, navigate to the content area where your instructor has added the link to MindTap. The link to MindTap will be indicated with the blue Cengage Learning star logo right to the left of the link title. To open MindTap, simply click on the link. If when you click on the link, nothing appears to happen, make sure that your browser's pop-up blocker is not preventing the window from opening. The first time you access MindTap, the Pay for Your Course window will open. If you already have an access code, simply click on Redeem Access Code, click Continue, and on the next screen you'll be prompted to enter that code. If you do not yet have an access code, you can choose to pay online using a credit or debit card, or you can choose to make use of the grace period. You do have a three-week grace period that allows you to access MindTap before you are required to enter in your access code. If you'd like to make use of the grace period, simply click on Go to My Course and hit Continue. In each subsequent login, you will be prompted to pay for your course, either by redeeming your access code or you can continue to make use of the grace period. At the conclusion of the grace period, you will be required to enter an access code or pay for access online using a credit, debit, or PayPal. When you access MindTap for the first time, the service agreement will appear. Scroll down and click Accept after reading through the service agreement. Once you are within MindTap, you can access your app menu by clicking on the All Apps logo in the top right-hand corner of the page. This will include your search tool, full ebook, glossary, your progress app where you can see your scores, as well as your read speaker settings. If you click on your name, this will open up a getting started tutorial, a link to customer support, a system check to make sure that your computer meets the system requirements, and also the link to log out. In the mainframe of the page, you'll see the learning path. Each of your chapters is organized into folders that are organized into parts. Simply click on a folder to reveal the chapters that are included within that folder. If you click on a chapter, a list of resources will be revealed. Each chapter's resources will begin with the ebook for that particular chapter. To open the ebook, you would simply click on the link. In addition to the ebook, there are also a series of activities and assignments that your instructor may have assigned to you. To open an assignment, you would simply click on the relevant item, and the assignment will open.